Welcome and welcome to my channel. This is Deanna with Divine Destiny and Empowering Empaths. It is June 17th. Coming to you briefly with a little bit of an energy update. Full moon in Sagittarius. This is what? The archer. This is rising above. This is aiming higher. This is expansion. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much. I hope you like it. I hope you subscribe, share, comment, hit the bell for notifications. Thank you so much and blessings to all of those who are back again. Thank you so much for your support. Without you few listeners that I do have right now, this wouldn't even be possible. Coming on, I about 1.26 a.m. last night, I had a, a internal download and he, I had to share with you all because um, it wasn't it came up within me and then I'm being guided to share it with you healers light workers way showers old souls you're at the forefront of this new shift in a collective consciousness and so what I had come to me was healers feeling denied so if you've been doing your work, you keep rising above and you're wanting to share and, and you're wanting to give insight to others, there, there can be rejection. Just know that that's okay if that rises within you right now. Keep aiming like the archer, like the full moon and Sag. Keep rising higher. This is also very significant. The galactic center, We this full moon is being illuminated. I think, what did they say? 26, 27 degrees. Look for that. Which house does that fall in? Everybody has Sagittarius. Which house does that fall in? Because that's going to have the biggest impact on you. I just wanted to go ahead and briefly, going to make it very short this week, I wanted to share um, with you guys some symptoms that I've been getting usually two, three days prior to the full moon, new moons. Sometimes it's when the Schumann resonance, you know, is going crazy. I've been experiencing a lot of downloads in my right ear and it can come through as like a buzzing or a ringing, high pitched ringing. Today being June 17th, I woke up with some vertigo. For about a week now, I've been experiencing, and you could possibly as well, itchy scalp. Um, I noticed that, and a lot of off and on head pressure, your crown chakra, pressure within that, sleeplessness, um, expansion or feeling pressure in your heart area, your your heart chakra. Um, really a good time to focus on your breath keep taking deep as we're integrating all of these shifts and changes in the light guys coming in now we're at the galactic center which is what the black hole they say that's where the beginning of creation began so that's really super super duper significant right now take well care of yourself i highly suggest a lot of grounding earthing getting out underneath underneath uh the sun, bare feet in it. Um, what else? I've also been noticing a lot of back and forth with my body feeling like it's hot or swelling up. Um, I'm not lacking anything in my diet or whatever, so that's not the it. So I'm picking on up on this. Excuse me, I'm also tongue-tied today. I woke up with vertigo. I actually woke up like I was higher than a kite and I was not. It was when I first got out of bed. I haven't checked the Schumann today. I'm curious to know about that too. Uh, just keep breathing into this, guys. Take good care of yourselves. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Collectively, there's so many different things going on in the cosmos and it's really keep it's just been taking us deeper and deeper like labor pains breathe through them keep rising above this full moon and sag i, I believe is going to be a huge one for a lot of us way showers light workers that have been doing our work for so long because this is the beautiful time to remember we're ever evolving we're at the forefront of this that's probably why the healers feeling denied came up to me last night around 1 26 a.m remember that we're getting very close like the new earth that we're creating we're at the forefront of it it's happening it's on gonna draw one card from the goddess guidance guidance oracle a little bit of inspiration 
you know, I wanted to share too, because I, I haven't been on the internet as much because my vision has been getting wonky again. And I remember as we were going through some energy shifts, uh, probably less than six months ago, my, my vision did the same thing. So remember that we're integrating a lot of light. Imagine that, you know, when it's impact coming from the galactic center, our central sun, everything's changing. The sun, Mr. Sun is changing. The moon is a beautiful time for us to purge the emotions and just in full moon and sag, just keep rising above. I I had this come to me the other night too, that we're going to start using, the ego is going to shift from competition and in and, and an egoic way, self-satisfying to the ego is the intellect and the intuition are going to merge together so that we start using more people collectively using our intellect to guide us more in the direction of our oneness um i thought that was quite interesting i think i was just in the bathroom or something when it came to me the other night while well, the ego is changing it's not just the heart the expansion of the light um the ego is not a bad thing, as I always say. So, just pay attention to that and see how that works. I feel it's a lot of the purging of the fear and whatnot, and so that we're revamping the ego as well as our light bodies. So, we'll see how that goes. I'm predicting it right now. We'll see what happens. Kind of interesting because two nights prior, I'm, I always two, three days prior feel the ebbs and the flows of the moons. This moon in particular, two nights ago I laid in bed and my logical mind was awake all night. I wasn't really, you know, I wasn't laying there with stress, fear, doubt, worry, any of that. I was just awake all night long. It was crazy. I started embracing that now. If you get up in the middle of the night, thank spirit. I mean, grab, grab it like a warrior that you are and just say, thank you, spirit. Why am I up tonight? Let me be a clear, open vessel to hear whatever you got for me. Turn them positive, sleepless nights. Turn them into something good. And that's another thing. I, I was going to write that down. Tongue-tied. I grounded a lot today, and I'm still feeling like I have the vertigo. So let's hear what they got to say. Little goddess guidance. Strong tingle there. Butterfly Maiden Transformation. You are experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great, great blessings. Huge. That's perfect card because this is a transformative time. This full moon in Sag, I really do feel like all of us way showers, light workers, old souls at the forefront of this. This could be why we our egos could be going, you know what? The healers are fe feeling denied. It's okay. Give what people want to receive. And, and quite frankly, if they don't want to hear or reach their hand out and go, you know, that's interesting. And think of different ways that are perspectives from others. Differences in perspectives are a beautiful thing. This is a huge tra transformational time. I believe we're heading more into. I, this is priming us up to the age of Aquarius. And leaving back the Pisces stage that's that served us its purpose for the time being, even though I can't make sense of it. Dropping the every old belief and really anchoring down into your heart. And something about that the other night, the intellect is getting revamped as well. So the ego, which has never been a bad thing, it is what it is. I feel that the ego is even going to be transformed right now. So let's see what happens with that. Beautiful full moon in Sagittarius. Get out underneath the stars and the moon tonight. Cleanse your crystals. Breathe deep into your solar plexus. And I actually been highlight. I want to highlight that too. I felt. Listen to your body. It speaks to us so clearly. I've had to deep breathe all the way down into my sacral chakra here, and probably about the last week or so. And so, keep rising above like the archer guys. 
look in your chart find out where Sagittarius is I do believe Sag is ruled by Jupiter so this is a huge expansive time for all of us to collectively purge keep rising above don't be too hard on yourselves I wanted to share this too as well those of you that are using heal, healing to help yourselves heal and heal others, don't get discouraged right now if you feel like, wow, that ain't working anymore because we're so ever-changing and everything's shifting right now that we're just really coming into the full authentic power of us being divine white light beings, you know, like co-creators that even the healing that we do and perform is changing. I think that's it for this week. One more thing I want to share, passion. I'm really not a master of anything other than loving and learning now to love myself first, which I should have did 44 years ago. I read or heard an article the other day that was an astrologer and he was kind of bashing everybody for sharing astrology and that they're just learning from others well guess what aren't we all learning from others and so i just want to share that with you i am no master of astrology i love astrology i started playing with oracle and tarot i'm not a master of that neither my main purpose of this channel is to reach my hand out to others let them know they're not alone talk about true feelings not snuffing any of them the dark and the light balancing it in within us embracing it and sharing so i hope that you enjoy this if you're feeling any of these things the ear buzz the vertigo the ringing breathe in as you're getting that ringing in your ear and give thanks to spirit even if you don't know what it means it doesn't matter don't question it with the logic you could be experiencing head pressure, the crown chakra, top of your head. Two nights for me of not sleeping well. You could feel pressure in your chest area or your heart chakra is expanding. I highly suggest getting out and grounding. And remember, this is really super significant. Take it a step farther. Do a little bit of reading on your own and find out what it exactly means. This full moon in Sagittarius lining right up with the galactic center, the black hole of our universe beautiful exciting times thank you so much for joining me today i send you so much love and many blessings until next week one more thing i also have a facebook page called divine destiny and the rise of empaths i would look forward to ask, having you join we do a little bit of everything there as well it's just a beautiful group of people um, no drama, no mama, because it won't be put up with. So I wanted to say that to you if you're interested. Thank you for so much for joining me. I hope you like, subscribe, share. Thank you to all the returning listeners and blessings to you. Deanna, Divine Destiny, and I am out. Namaste.